Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you two different resources for finding stock photos and stock videos for your YouTube videos, as well as other videos you may wanna create for clients down the road. Now, the way I use these is I also use them for my video production company because one of the resources I'm gonna show you basically gives you royalty-free license, meaning you could use it in any way you want in commercial work as well on top of using it for YouTube. And with stock videos and stock photos, especially if you use them correctly on YouTube, you significantly increase your retention time of your viewers because people don't typically just wanna watch you talk into camera if there are stock videos and stock photos that could go along with what you're talking about. Let's say I'm talking about something that gave me joy. A man standing on top of a hill here with a drone shot could be a great use of stock video instead of just looking at me talking about feeling great about something. Maybe you're making a travel vlog and you wanna just have a time lapse of a city because you didn't get to capture it when you were there. Many, many great reasons and use cases for stock video and stock photos. So let me show you in this video two different options. One is gonna be completely free. It's a website that a lot of people use for YouTube. Another one is a subscription-based option, and I'll show you exactly why I choose to pay for that one. It does have a lot of benefits over the free one, but I'll compare and contrast both of those options so you can pick and choose based on your application. So the very first option for videos and photos is a website called pixels.com. Now, this is a free website, and you could basically use any of these video clips you see over here, or photos. And I'll just give you an example. Let me just search for dog, and let's go to the photos tab here. And basically, any picture you see over here, you could click on that picture, and you could download it from here, and you could see who uploaded it to this platform. You should always, for this platform specifically, look right here where it says free to use and kind of understand where you could use it. Almost in all cases, you could use the video or photo for free, but in some cases, you may have to give attribution. Attribution basically means credit to the photographer or the person that shot the video. Now, a lot of them say attribution not required, so I usually choose those just to make life a little more simple here for my YouTube videos, and I don't have to add more to the description, but you should look at each one and click on it to get an idea what kind of attribution, if any, is needed. And this has a lot of different variety, right? 17,000 photos just under the keyword dog, videos 4.8K, and if I look up dog food, for example, just to give you an example of another search term here, you could see even more photos and more videos for this one. And again, you could click on each one, download it. Let me show you with the video tab here. If I go to the videos tab, I could go ahead and see some related categories here. I could click on each one of these and then I could download from here. If I press this arrow too, you get some more options. Some of them have 4K options and some of them have HD options and some may have a variety of different options for downloading the footage. Again, make sure you look at the attribution here. So this is pixels.com, pretty great platform if you want to get started here completely for free. And secondly, let me show you the platform I use that I've covered in other videos as well because it's not just for stock videos and photos. I actually get all my royalty free, copyright free music from here. I've made videos about the sound effects and how I use those there, as well as video graphic templates that I use for more advanced video platforms like Adobe Premiere, where I could do more advanced logo intros, for example. But if I go to the Photos tab here, and in the description below, both of these website URLs are available to make it easier for you to find. But basically with this platform, it does have a lot more variety that is more applicable for what I use it for, right? Because it has a better filtering system as far as who could post to this platform, right? The other one is much easier to get your content out there, and you may just not be able to find what you need so the main reason I use this because it ends up saving me a lot more time in search and time is basically the main thing I value. So a lot of these are more applicable when I look at them because they're more commercially viable and they're more professional than something that one of those free platforms for photos has. So this really is something that I always recommend to people using 
if they value more of their time. And because this platform gives you options for other things, including music and sound effects and everything else, I think it makes the bundle worth it. I really honestly think of Photos as just this free upgrade that comes with this platform. But let me show you stock video because stock video on this platform is the main reason I pay for it over any free platform because I have a lot more filtering options here as far as what I need. So a lot of times I shoot my videos in 2398. This is 24 frames per second, basically these two. So if I choose one of these, I could get exactly what I'm looking for in the right frame rate based on the other parts of my video. So this video I know is 24 frames is shot in the right 4K resolution that the rest of my video is shot in and it's going to be a perfect fit for my edit. So because of the filtering system and the more professional quality videos I get out of this, I usually use this over any other platform that I have found. And this has more advanced options like looped videos and alpha channel videos as well. With alpha channels, I could do some of my iPhone tutorials, for example, and do a really cool intro with green screen or blue screen. That's what the alpha channels let you do, more advanced motion graphics. So if I wanted to just pick somewhere of a resolution over 1080p, which is typically where I want to be, I'll just go ahead and narrow that down and choose the more recent things that come in 1080p or HD and a bunch of different search options available here. So if I look up for dog one more time under stock video, you could see I could get some advanced stuff here with alpha channels and green screen, as well as some really useful stock video. Again, under the photo tab, I could jump in there and choose the different things from there. So sometimes my workflow is after I edit my video, I come and search for stock photos and videos in this platform. Then I add those in, then I jump back in and then I look up music, right? And there's over a hundred thousand songs available. I choose any song I want. And then if I have the time, I usually come to the sound effects tab to add some sound effects to make different parts of my video really pop, right? So it's a combination of using many different assets that come under the same subscription, right? So I'm not paying separately for this video file and this music file and this photo. It's all part of the same subscription. Again, you can learn more about it in the description below this video. And sometimes I even get different graphic assets for social media, for example, they're all available here and I incorporate those with my video as well. So if you have the time to really spice up your edit, I recommend using one of these two platforms to find stock videos and stock photos and layer them on top of your video wherever appropriate. The more edits you have like that, the better chance of your viewers to stick it around because it helps with retention and gets the attention of your audience more than if you have nothing and it's just a talking head throughout the entire video. That's why I typically jump between the computer, stock video and myself talking to just give different visuals throughout the video. So I hope you found this one useful. I do post these type of videos every single day on this channel and I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.